Welcome in, Mountaineer Nation. I'm Sam the Man, and this is another episode of The Mountaineer Effect, brought to you by GGTV on Facebook. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That helps take the content even further. I appreciate all of you guys. We finally hit 500 subscribers. I couldn't be happier. Well on our way to 1,000. So let's please you know, like and share and keep this content going. The West Virginia Mountaineers take on the TCU Horn Frogs tomorrow night at 7.30 on ESPNU. And with the type of season we've had so far, this game really is a must win. I'll tell you why here on the Mountaineer Effect. The West Virginia Mountaineers take on TCU tomorrow night at 7.30, and both teams have really underperformed this season, the Mountaineers more so. They've lost some really close games. Um, they've, you know, won, won one really close game. Um, but the game everybody's focused on is that Baylor game and the blowout, and rightfully so. Um, nobody likes to get blown out. I think that's probably Neil Brown's first blowout uh, since he's been the Mountaineer head coach. And we can't have that happen again. Um, you know, going to Texas to take on TCU presents certain challenges logistically and, you know, with the kids being tired and things like that. But this game will determine uh, the rest of the season in my eyes. This is a very winnable game for the Mountaineers. We match up extremely well. Um, the keys to the game for the Mountaineers are going to be establishing the run. Letty Brown has to establish himself. Um, I would also hope to see Garrett Green on the field a little bit more because ECU has the worst rushing defense in the country, or one of the worst in the country, the worst in the conference for sure. But I think a consorted effort of running, you know, you could see Letty Brown run for over 200 yards and a few touchdowns. Um, I really expect um, the offensive line to come ready to run block. and They're really good at run blocking. Um, we've just got to make the holes. Um, Garrett Green could really help open up the field even more. Um, you know, we'll just have to see how that issue plays out between him and Jared Day. The keys to the game for the Horn Frogs um, – really comes down to winning the battle in the trenches. Um, their O-line really has to show up. I honestly don't see them having an answer for Akeem Ezador. I look for him to run rampant tomorrow. Him and, and Darius Steele's both. I look for them to run rampant all over the TCU offense. Um, I think we're going to see a defensive performance like we haven't seen in a long time from a Mountaineer. Um, I would expect several sacks, lots of tackles for loss. Um, I think our defense will be very prepared for this game. I think they're going to be really hungry, and they're going to be ready to put to task the, the, the TCU backfield. Um, what we really have to watch is giving up long plays. Um, our D-backs are really going to have to stay on a swivel and not let anything get behind them. Um, I think that's TCU's probably their biggest hope in winning this game is burning, burning West Virginia deep. Um, you know, and as Baylor did, you know, kind of picking, picking, picking them apart. Um, I think Baylor has laid the groundwork for how you beat the Mountaineers, but I don't think the Horn Frogs have the personnel to pull it off. Um, I have West Virginia winning this game. I think it's going to be a, a, a mid-scoring game. I think I'm think you're going to see around 36 to 21. I think the Mountaineers are going to come out and make a statement win. Um, that will stop the bleeding, so to speak, with the Mountaineer Nation. It'll make the fans happy. It'll make the university happy. Um, and it'll make, of course, the players happy because nobody likes to lose. Um, but I look, for, I look for it to be a really exciting game. It being a late game um, will help with some of the viewership. Um, you know, I'm actually really excited for this game. I, I really expect West Virginia to come out as a different team and to show – Mountaineer Nation, that they're not gone. 
they're still there. They're still fighting. I look for Neil Brown to make adjustments that he's talked about week in and week out. And I look for this game to be one of the defining moments in this season so far. Um, one win can, can breed more wins. And I think this is the beginning of the West Virginia season. But I'm Sam the Man. This is the Mountaineer Effect. Let's go Mountaineers. Mountaineers.